Central Luzon State University, excellent service to humanity is our commitment. Despite the challenges COVID-19 has brought to the country, it did not hinder the Central Luzon State University in continuing its commitment, excellent service to humanity. This pandemic didn't limit the institution, but instead, it even paved way to further extend the reach of the technologies it generated from the different research and extension program funded by the Department of Science and Technology Region 3 through the cooperation of the Clardec collaborating member institutions. The shortage and dwindling source of ethyl alcohol, also known as ethanol, in the market due to panic buying on the onset of COVID-19 pandemic on March 2020 led to the collaboration of CLSU and DOSG Region 3 in producing nano-structured alcohol and nano-enhanced sanitizer. The project team led by Dr. Juvi J. Monserrate and Dr. Fe El Porchuncula initiated the production of the nanostructured alcohol and nano-enhanced sanitizer containing nanoparticles with known antiviral properties infused with turmeric extract that could be effective in inhibiting the spread of COVID-19. This was one of the immediate responses of the university to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in collaboration with DOS3 Region 3, knowing that both CLSU and DOS3 Region 3 are one to lend a lending hand in the government's effort through the Bayanihan We Heal As One to fight the dreadful effect of COVID-19 in the region. The CLSU GAD program, on the other hand, capitalized on the CLSU DOS3 collaborative efforts and mobilized the men and women researchers of the university in the production of nanoproducts primarily to enhance or increase the production and distribution of nanoproducts such as nanostructured alcohol and face masks in an effort to respond to the COVID-19 situation and sustain the production of nanoproducts for distribution to frontliners with service orientation with eventual intention of commercialization. These efforts were aimed to be service-oriented where it primarily intends to provide the frontliners, doctors, nurses, other health workers, police and military personnel, and anyone providing services in the ground such as in the barangays in the Central Ozone region with nano-alcohol to serve as a weapon to fight COVID-19. The nanostructured alcohol is made of 70% alcohol and infused with nanoparticles and laden with turmeric extract. The mixture can be used similar to commercial 70% ethyl alcohol. Considered as nanomedicine, the three nanomaterials such as NSI, NZNO, and NZLite infused with turmeric extract could kill the H1N1 influenza and the SARS viruses which are both a family of the coronaviruses. Thus, applying such to surface could be effective in inhibiting the spread of COVID-19. The Nano Enhanced Face Mask is a washable mask that makes use of nanofibers as filter, which can inhibit the transmission of viruses. This washable face mask is made of tightly woven but breathable material with two layers of fabric. The main responsible unit, the Nano R&D facility, adhere to the standard and acceptable production process so that the production of quality nanostructured alcohol and nanofibers was not compromised and that the safety of the men and women researchers engaged in the project shall not be compromised as well. A licensed chemist forms part of the production team. The production of nanomaterials as antiviral agent is vital. The development of novel treatment strategies is therefore required. 
three nanomaterials such as NSI, NZNO, and NZLite are novel products of CLSU Nanotechnology R&D facility. The expertise of nanotechnology consists of trained chemists and agriculturists are also utilized in the formulation and production of nano-enhanced products. CLSU men and women researchers from the Nanotechnology R&D Facility, the Alternative Renewable Energy Center or ARECE, and the College of Engineering, Biotech, RM Cares, and Research Office were mobilized to produce the nanostructured alcohol, despite enhanced quarantine being implemented in the university. The project team also mobilized the CLSU community in acquiring used bottle shave it cleaned and used as containers for the distribution of nanostructured alcohol. Being service-oriented, the project primarily distributed the products for free to the intended beneficiaries in the Central Ozone region as CLSU and DOSG Region 3 responds to help fight COVID-19. The distribution was done through coordination with the Clardec member institutions, RIATF, LGUs, and the identified hospitals in the region who serve as the distribution channel of nanostructured alcohol and mass to the frontliners operating within its jurisdiction. The program was able to distribute a total of 12,000 liters of nanostructured alcohol. 200 liters of nano enhanced sanitizer, 500 pieces of nano fiber filter face mask, 5,000 pieces of washable face mask to several hospitals, LGUs, RHUs, military personnel, government agencies, students, and other COVID 19 frontliners in Central Luzon, including Picard and Pichard. Central Luzon State University, excellent service to humanity is our community.